hello guys welcome back to this channel so hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 4 assignment <coughs> of the course introduction to iot so let's see the first question guys so guys we are having five years of nptel experience so we are providing the accurate solutions so for this season also we are going to provide you so all we need is your support so guys please watch the video till the end without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some content and do like the video guys then only our videos will appear in suggestions for other students also and definitely share this video with your friends and classmates in your whatsapp college groups so that it will be beneficial for your friends also so please do these things guys and if you found there should be any changes to be made please give your comment in the comment section so we'll try to sort it out but i think almost all solutions are 100 percent correct guys so if i get any i will update in the comment section so before final submission once again check our videos guys so this is week for assignment right now let's see the first question state whether the following statement is true or false so for first question the answer is option a true guys the coverage in WSN is defined as the area of interest that is covered satisfactorily. <coughs> so mark option A guys. Next, moving on to the second question. <coughs> the second one. Second one. If transmission range greater than or equal to 2 into sensing range then what is the condition <coughs> so the answer is option a guys coverage implies connectivity coverage implies connectivity so mark option a next moving on to the <coughs> third question guys Third one, forest fire monitoring in WSN is an example of which type of reporting? <coughs> so the answer is option A, event driven, event driven reporting. <coughs> so mark option A guys. Next, moving on to the fourth question. Fourth one, <coughs> state whether the following statement is true or false. So the statement, <coughs> objective of coverage in WSN is to use minimum number of sensors and maximize network lifetime. <coughs> so for fourth question, <coughs> it is option A guys, true. <coughs> So mark option A, true as correct answer for fourth question. Next, moving on to the fifth one. The fifth question. <coughs> what is the full form of AUV in the context of mobile wireless sensor networks? <coughs> AUV means option C guys, autonomous underwater vehicle autonomous underwater vehicle so mark option c guys <coughs> next moving on to the sixth question guys before moving into the sixth question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs so we have prepared exam preparation mcqs guys for iot course so here you will get a huge number of 300 mcqs guys which is more than equal to more than two years of nptl sessions so you'll get a huge number of 300 mcqs particularly made from the context of the syllabus guys so no deviations 100 percent nptl syllabus oriented questions guys so you'll get that in a PDF guys, Google Drive PDF link. It is very restricted link guys. And 
<coughs> we have reduced the one person price from 500 rupees to 300 rupees in order to benefit the students guys last time we have given it for 500 and students have taken that but for this year we have even reduced the price from 500 to 300 in order to benefit the students so for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 guys so individual price can be reduced if you share among your friends and classmates guys so try to join with in groups guys if you are only one person no need to worry guys you, you are getting it for 300 rupees only so with five years of nptl experience we are providing this guys so this is the email id you have to mail me for in order to get this in order to make payment for this uh, pdf guys so this is the email id i will give the same email id in the description box as well as in the comment section and there is another thing guys it is youtube membership so here you will get only 100 plus mcqs but the price is just 18 rupees only guys but it is available in video format so it is only for one person and for one month if you want to join this uh, YouTube membership, you can directly go to our channel page. <coughs> channel page. So type S Kumar Edu in the search box. And beside the subscribe button, there is join button. So click on this join button. And a small window will be appear like this. So click on 89 per month pack, guys. 89 per month pack. Second one. And click on join. That's it. You will become a member of our channel. And you can access all these members only videos case not only one subject the whatever videos I have uploaded you can get access to all these videos for the same 89 rupees no extra money needed guys so you can see here I wrote a part one and part two video also made <coughs> so if you want the YouTube membership 89 rupees video no need to message me you can directly go to our channel and join if you want this exam oriented 300 MCQs which make you exam ready if you want these 300 MCQs, these are very premium MCQs, guys. If you want this, then message me to this email ID. Guys, please remember one thing. If you want to purchase, then only mail me, guys. For any other doubts, no need to mail me. You can directly ask me in the YouTube comment section. So, for, for one person, it is 300 rupees. And for two to five persons, combined, it is 500 rupees, guys. So, now let's get back to the solutions. So, last time, many students have taken our pack and got 70 to 80 percent result. So I am very happy with this feedback that I have received from many students. So I hope you will also choose this. Now let's get back to the solutions. Sixth question. In mobile wireless sensor networks, the sensor nodes are capable of dash and measuring the condition of their surrounding environments. So the answer is <coughs> option A, collaborating with one another collaborating with one another so the answer is option a moving on to the seventh question now the seventh one state whether the following statement is true or false so the statement in mobile sensor networks the sensor nodes come in close proximity of sync and deliver the data so is the statement true or false so for seventh question, the answer is option A, true guys, it is true. So mark option A. Now let's move on to the eighth question. The eighth one. Which of the following is our challenges in human centric sensing? In human centric sensing. So here energy of devices and participant selection both these are human centric sensing so option c both a and b is the correct answer now let's move on to the ninth one ninth question which of the following is the feature or features of uav networks <coughs> so for ninth question so mesh or star networks multitasking large coverage area so all these all these three are features only so option d all of this is the correct answer next moving on to the 10th one state whether the following statement is true or false 
So the statement frequently change in network topology is a benefit of UAE networks. Is this statement true or false? Frequently change in network topology is a benefit of UAE, UAE networks. So it is absolutely false. So mark option A. Guys, if you feel there should be any changes to be made to the solutions, please give your opinion in the comment section. So we will try to sort it out. But I think almost all solutions are 100% correct. Next, moving on to the 11th one. Which of the following is not a feature of multi-UAV system? So for 11th question, the answer is option C, low survivability, low survivability. So mark option C guys. Moving on to the 12th question. 12th one. State whether the following statement is true or false. So the statement is. M2M communications are free of any human intervention. So is that true or false guys? So it is absolutely true. Thirteenth one. Which of the following is not, not in M2M node type? So for 13th question also the answer is option A only guys that is secure endpoint. So it is not M2M node type guys. Remaining three are M2M node types. So it is wrong answer. So first option is the correct one for this question. Next moving on to the 14th one, 14th question. So before getting into this solution I want to once again make you remember guys. So here we are providing more than what we have given for the previous years. So here you are getting huge number of 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF guys. So for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys. So it will be very beneficial for you and your friends or classmates. So please tell them to, to join in taking this 300 MCQs back which will be helpful in prepare, preparing for your final exam guys already many students have taken our pack and many students told that they have got 75 to 80 percent marks by using our MCQs so with five years of NPTEL experience we have providing provided these solutions guys so this is the email ID you have to mail me for in order to get uh, make further procedure for the purchase of the 300 mcqs so this is the email id guys please message me only if you want to purchase guys for any other doubts you can ask me in the youtube itself youtube comment section itself if you want youtube membership for getting this 100 100 plus mcqs in video format for just 89 rupees you can join our channel guys it is for one person and for one month in available in video format and only 100 plus mcqs will be available guys but my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 mcqs pack because we have prepared these mcqs by in a way in a way that we covered almost many solution many concepts so which can be able to achieve your purpose for the final exam guys so 300 mcqs already many students have taken and got benefited guys so hope you will join in that list so now let's get back to the final questions. So 14th one. What is the full form of M2SP in the context of machine to machine communication? So for 14th question, the answer is option A guys. M2M service platform. M2M service platform. So mark option A guys. Next, moving on to the 15th and final question of this assessment. 15th question guys. The dash provides integrated services based on device collected data sets. 
So for 15th and final question of this assessment, the answer is option A guys for this assignment for M2M application platform. Again, option A guys. So mark option A. So friends, these are the MCQs solutions for week four assignment of the IOT course. Hope this video helpful for you guys. So don't forget about this 300 MCQs pack. Share this news with your friends and combinedly take this 500 rupee pack. If you are only one person, no need to fear guys because for one person we have reduced the price to 300 only. So this is the email ID to mail me for. So with NPTEL five years of experience, we have prepared these solutions guys. So that's it guys for this video. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share that with your friends guys. So that's it guys. So keep supporting us until the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.